Well, if you've traveled Interstate 75 near the Houston Dooley County line, you have probably noticed a huge solar farm. Maybe you have noticed a sheep there too. And tonight's on the farm, Greg Lloyd explains the sheep serve a much bigger purpose than just mowing the grass. If you travel Interstate 75 in southern Houston County, it's hard to miss Houston Solar Farm. The panels that make up this sprawling 550 acres here harness a lot of energy each day. It is a 68 megawatt solar facility, so it supplies 68 megawatts of clean, low cost renewable energy to the Georgia Electric co-ops across the state, uh, enough to power uh, more than 11,000 homes and businesses across the state of Georgia. And when Houston Solar celebrated its opening 18 months ago, it brought huge investments to middle Georgia. Houston Solar represents a more than $100 million uh, capital investment in Houston County. Uh, the project uh, itself will generate over $8 million in tax revenues to support government services and school districts uh, here in Houston County as well. And though it's relatively new, Houston Solar is expanding. And it's not by adding more panels or buying more land. Unveiling and giving folks a, a first look at our lambing facility, which is going to be uh, really the lifeblood of our agrivoltaics program here in Georgia and, and across the southeast. Houston Solar wants to do more than just provide the sheep plenty to eat and use them as natural ways to keep the acreage mowed. Along with harvesting solar energy, now Silicon Ranch plans to study and improve on best practices for raising sheep. Part of what we're doing here is participating in the National Sheep Improvement Program, and that is a, that is a program that is to benefit the industry nationwide, um, as the name implies. It's not to benefit an individual. So as we participate, um, likely running the largest flock that is enrolled in it, that that value is returned to the broader industry in terms of better quality genetic selection tools for all producers. Participation in the National Sheep Improvement Program requires strict adherence to high standards and continual measured research. That's why they're working right now to complete a lambing barn. We'll end up with lambing pens, lambing jugs. Um, the National Sheep Improvement Program uh, requires a lot of record keeping, um, daily weight gain on lambs, uh, mothering ability for ewes, fecal egg counts to, to uh, track parasite resistance that involves handling the animals uh, pretty routinely every 45, 30 to 45 days. Uh, and this barn will be set up with the necessary infrastructure to be able to do that. Silicon Ranch operators say Houston Solar and others like it in the state and across the country offer a great way to power the state and empower the sheep industry in a way that only benefits the land. So by grazing, ruminants have a really positive effect on building soil. And the way that we manage them, where we move them, similar to the way a mowing crew would move through a site, it distributes the manure and the urine and the hoof impact and the saliva, which is full of microbes and it distributes those benefits across the site and it builds the soil in a uniform way.